I just want to start off this video by saying I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't post any videos for the past two weeks, and that is because stuff just kind of got crazy. Uh, I was really busy with school stuff and home stuff, and on top of all that, I was sick. Nothing serious, uh, just a pretty annoying cold that didn't want to go away, so I just thought rather than posting videos, I should give myself some time to, uh, you know, recuperate, recover, and then just get back on track with making videos. But, uh, yeah, I'm all better now, all fine, and we are going to be, hopefully, getting back on track. I'm going to post this video today, a new video tomorrow, and hopefully on Thursday, we're going to be back on track with my regular upload schedule. That's the plan, but... Yeah, just wanted to put that out there uh, just to keep you guys in the know. And yeah, so recently I saw the Sonic movie. Yeah, and I thought it was pretty good, you know. Uh, whatever reviews you've seen or heard about it, I probably agree with it. It was a fun time. I didn't vlog myself going to watch the Sonic movie because I actually watched it with a friend and they are actually very camera shy. And I wasn't going to force them to be in a video. So I just thought, you know what, I'll just watch it. And I liked it. That's that's my review. There it is, right there. But uh, yeah, so the thing about the Sonic movie is that it was produced by the same people who made The Fast and the Furious. And so I thought, what better way to come back after my hiatus uh, than by finally unboxing Hobbs and Shell. Wait, what? So I am planning on unboxing Hobbs and Shaw sometime in the future. Uh, it's just, once again, it's still too expensive for me to buy right now. Uh, I'm not spending $14 on Amazon. But uh, yeah, I could probably get it cheaper. It's it's That unboxing is coming soon. But I wanted to put an unboxing video out there since I haven't done it in a, quite a while. And so I thought, you know what? I think it's finally time to unbox Mad Max 3 Beyond Thunderdome right here. So here it is. Got the Blu-ray here. Here's the cover. Got a sticker from the store that I bought it from. Uh, that store has since closed down and is no longer uh, a place where I buy movies from. Uh, see this video up here for more information on that. But other than that, here it is. Got the title right here. Mel Gibson starring Tina Turner. There's the characters right there. Really interesting cover. Uh, yeah, nice orange. Very cool. Very nice. Here we have the spine, where you should be able to see the title once again. Uh, just your standard stuff that you see on any Warner Brothers Blu-ray. You know, you got the Blu-ray logo, Warner Brothers logo, and the title, of course. But uh, it's having trouble focusing right now. There we go. That's good. Right there. Typical stuff. And then the back. Here it is. You got some screenshots from the film right there. And then you got this little blurb that says, A series of films that just keeps getting better and better. And that's from Gene Siskel of the Chicago Tribune. Got the description of the film right there. Hopefully you guys can read that. And then you've got the production credits. And a bunch of technical specs down here. This film is rated PG-13. And bonus material slash trailer is not rated. So, yeah. Um, pretty cool. Let's go ahead and unbox it. I am honestly kind of curious to see what comes with this Blu-ray. Uh, I'm going to need a pencil or something because I cannot open this. There we go. Cool. So, go ahead and unbox it here. And there goes the shrink wrap. So here it is, uncovered. There's the cover, the spine, and then the back. Pretty cool. So let's go ahead and open it up. And, okay, nothing much. Just Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome. There it is. Uh, kind of boring, actually. I thought it was going to have a more interesting disc. Uh, it's a recyclable case. That's fine. But, uh, yeah, now I have this movie finally open so I could finally watch it. So, pretty cool. Um, 
I have seen this movie before. It's been a while. Uh, not my favorite of the Mad Max movies, but you know what? It's fine. Um, still has really good action. Uh, nice simple plot. And yeah, it's pretty interesting. So other than that, that's basically it for this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Wanted to get back into the basics before uh, doing some of the newer things that I have been, uh, you know, planning to do in the new year. But yeah, that's basically it for this unboxing. Let me know what you guys think of this movie. Which movie in the Mad Max series is your favorite? And yeah, I will see you guys in the next Blu-ray unboxing video. Thanks again for watching. See you guys later.